and see this royal stilata magnolia two years old then just see where i am standing last to last year i planted one i think uh, coral beauty orange color uh, peony roots so um, i think uh, last year i did not see i thought it died but now last to last year on the first year itself i saw little bit leaf last year i didn't see anything and now see the leaf that's why all these i planted transplanted i it was there and i Uh, brought few here those are different colors of rudabecia um thinking that that place is uh, i mean the peony died but you see and i can see a board also peony are very hardy what i want to say here is the sasar magnolia that i planted last year they are very light pink and here i had sown some marigold uh, seeds all around this uh, second circle here and some other seeds mix seeds here and there wherever i found space here is my yellow bud magnolia see they look like satrus green right the buds i mean so this is a uh, 3 years old or last to last year i planted or maybe just 1 year old just last year i planted i forgot so this is either 1 or 2 years old see this uh, red horse chestnut how they are looking now they have opened all their leaves I'm so happy to see <laughs> um, because all my garden is clay soil, clay. <laughs> so it is very hard for them to perform very well. And I don't fertilizer. Not a single plant I added fertilizer after planting. Here is my Ann magnolia starting to open. I love their color. Beautiful, very pretty. sharing this with you though they are not opened so that you can relate today is 12th april 2023 so in which week uh, of the year how they perform or how they grow in june 6 you can relate if you want to plant because that's how i watched other youtubers uh, to know when i how i will grow my plants uh, and it, you can relate only uh, to the uh, gardener in your zone only otherwise the timing is different for every zone when they will grow and how they will perform and this is my triangular iris garden and uh, this is also one uh, weeping cherry tree that was uh, grow that was growing under my 
first two weeping cherry in the entrance of the house i mean the gate so i believe it is uh, seven at least seven or eight years old uh, but at that time i did not have the fence so whenever they were growing little bit new branch or leaf they were eaten by the deers so they are able to grow properly after the fence only that's why they are looking like this so um, the um, the weeping cherry that i sowed uh, which is five or six years old but growing has grown much bigger that i had deer fence uh, though i did not have this uh, aluminium fence but i protected them by deer fence which is a little bit you can say plastic net uh, kind of thing um, and also wear iron wear kind of so i had um, that kind of um, uh, fence um, temporary fence and i protected few of my plants when i did not have these uh, aluminium fence so but but at that time also it was left alone so there was no fence deer fence for this so it was eaten and now it is growing and at that time i just wanted to save few plants because i was seeing that these kind of plants if you buy it is 60 70 or 100 dollars so i was just thinking if i have plant i can let it grow somewhere and i can give to my friends whoever is interested to have one weeping cherry thinking that i planted wherever i found space so and with time they grew and i am sure that they will have strong roots uh, um, on the soil now and uh, somehow it has grown this much i just wanted to share with you how it grows because from other tubers um, i get attracted to watch when this kind of uh, explanation is there so that's why i am also sharing this information so from this side you see how it looks when i planted that um, ann magnolia i did not know the height i assumed maybe it will reach 15 20 feet but later i i start i read about ann magnolia so it will be i think 8 or 10 feet tall not more so which is very good for me i don't want a giant tree there it may block the view from the road so i want people to see my garden <laughs> and enjoy the blooms and beauty whatever it is it is for everybody so this is how right now this iris uh, got triangular iris garden is looking so originally it was only the iris only the uh, that iris and little 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 i increased the border so that i can plant some more for example that is rudovicia that is rudovicia uh, sasta daisy is there and now i had sown uh, some mixed seeds there some marigold seeds there some marigold seeds here some mixed seeds here so that they will have extra and um, the extra plants will help me to make a bouquet whenever I want which I do for my friends birthdays hi everyone uh, this morning I recorded and all the magnolia buds were closed not opened you can relate so now it is uh, 5 30 pm i just came to throw some garbage and i just saw that they are all opened see i mean mostly most of them are opened i'm just excited because this is the first year of this sasar magnolia just last year i planted and you see there are so many blooms Let me smell them. Yeah, they are fragrant too. Not heavy, but still they do. I don't know we will be in this house or not when they will be like 15 feet height 
next five years uh, maybe we'll be here after that i do not know that's how american life is you see I had lily <laughs> lily balls are coming out and see 